Hello and welcome. I am the Student Tie Dip and Chew Guy, and this is the number 22 short format review. So, Grizzly Dark Long Cut Mint. What is it? Taking a look at the can, the can you have the new can lid layout design. It's a good looking can. I personally prefer the burgundy of the select product, but all told, it is still a good looking can. Grizzly Dark is raised thin. American Snuff Company raised rim. Both of them are in a silver. There are two indentations above and below long cut mint. And the banner, Dark Fire Tobacco, is also raised. Moving around the side, we have barcode. The fact that this is a 1.2 ounce net weight can, standard dip can. Branding. The bear is actually textured. It feels like it's slightly raised. More branding. And manufacturer's information. This is a product of the American Snuff Company of Memphis, Tennessee. It is 100% U.S. tobacco, as is all their dark series. Uh, American Stuff makes Grizzly, Kodiak, and a number of chews, Cannonball being a plug among them. Levi Garrett is their main holding in loose leaf. And then on the back, you have cut and flavor the bear date code in this band here. It is F19. It corresponds with numbers the f which brings you to the number six sixth month of the year would be june and the nine stands for the year itself 2019 it is the last digit of the year so this is about halfway through its date okay so i'm going to cut right into this uh, this is product i i you know I, I was thinking about it before uh the video I actually think I have more experience now with winter greens due to this channel than I do with mint. Um, I just, I, I review them, it seems, more often. I guess there's maybe more of them. I've had to buy larger amounts at times, like with the fine cut winter green from Stokers. So, popping the can open. The product is actually a little bit recessed in there, and I'm not quite sure why. You see that? Pretty, pretty strong mint. Um, little sweetness. Uh, I'm not. I'm a little thrown off by why the can seems recessed. It is. Oh, that might be why. It's pretty moist. It may be compacted because of the moisture level. Doesn't look overly moist, but it feels like it. So, I'm going to get a pinch here. Yeah, it's really packed in there. This can must have been sitting on end like this. It pinches really well. The cut is good. The moisture level in these Grizzly Dark products are much more to my liking than the regular Grizzly line. Uh, the moisture level is higher. Back in a moment. And I am back. Okay, so Grizzly Dark Mint. It is a pretty good tasting mint. Now, this product, when I first reviewed it, really threw me off because I thought the Dark Series was supposed to be like a subdued series. The Select is pretty standout flavor-wise. The Winter Green seems a little more subdued. There seems to be a lighter burn. The mint, the mint throws me off. It, it, it's really, it, it's almost like it's more minty than the regular line mint. Like it's not subdued, it seems like more. That said, it definitely has a tobacco undertone backing, okay? The mint is good, it's a peppermint. Um, nothing bad about it. There is a cooling sensation in the mouth. It sort of comes off as a little zingy. It's, it's just sort of a cooling sensation. 
Um, it's just not subdued. It, I mean, compared to their regular line. Now, all that said, it is very subdued if you put it up against, let's say, Stoker's Mint or Copenhagen Mint. The sweetness is drawn down a little bit from those two, and the peppermint is brought down along the lines of... You know, it, it, it's playing off the dark tobacco. You're not picking up the dark tobacco, though, as much as, let's say, a Skull Classic Mint. Okay? So, it's more minty than you would expect, but it's, it's not on the level of Stokers or Copenhagen. Definitely neither. Cut is really good. Okay? Stays formed in the mouth, stays firm. Moisture level is higher than regular Grizzly products in my opinion, which I like. Um, flavor is good, as I said. Nicotine is definitely there. Uh, I'll keep this in through the uploading process and probably after. Usually lasts flavor-wise pretty long. Um, all in all, it's a good product. I'm just not... I, I, I'm turning... It, it's starting to dawn on me that I, I don't really deal with mint a lot. It, it's not that I necessarily have anything against it. It's just not my thing. And I come with this channel in contact with Wintergreen much more. So, good mint, tobacco underneath it, good cut, good moisture level, nicotine's there. And that is what Grizzly Dark Long Cut Mint is. I am the Suntai Dip and Chew Guy. There will be shout outs on the next Longer Play video. Until then, I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves and God bless.